today we're going to build another gear ties project. This is another tabletop style tripod, but this is a very simple one and it only has two legs. I didn't think that this would be that useful, but man, I think I like this one better than the first one I built. It's so simple to make and it's really handy. I, I was surprised how much, how easy it was to use this, even though it only had two legs on it. You can use it as a selfie stick. You can hang it from branches, fences. You can pretty much, you can tie it around a small tree. It works great. So let's get started. We're gonna use one mega gear tie. It's a 32 incher. And we're gonna use a quarter 20 carriage bolt. And this is three quarters of an inch long and two fender washers. Those are the bigger, uh, the ones that are larger around. Now, on here I have one fender washer that I've cut a little square part out using a jeweler's file. If you don't have a jeweler's file, you can just get a, a 5 16 or 3 8 washer and that should be big enough for the carriage bolt to fit in all the way. This is one of my favorite little tripod heads. Just a little ball head from Giotto. Uh, there's another, I think Oban is another brand that, that uses us. So you can use a 3 8 or quarter inch. I prefer to use a quarter inch bolt on this project. So not only are we gonna use the gear tie, we're also gonna use some of the packaging. And mainly that's the zip tie here. If you look at a zip tie, in the very back of it, there's a little tab. And if you can get something in there, you can pry the tab out of the way and that unlocks the zip tie and then you should be able to use that again. Just be careful that you don't stab yourself while you're doing that. So take the mega, 32 inch mega gear tie and you kind of want to bend it so there's just a small hole and then just enough for that uh, quarter inch carriage bolt to go through. So just put the carriage bolt on the fender washer, stick it in the bottom, drop another carriage bolt on. Don't forget to subscribe if you like stuff like this. And then just screw your little tripod head on there. Now you could screw your camera directly to this. I just think it, it feels a lot easier to fine tune it when you have the little head on there. Now the last piece you need is the zip tie from the packaging. And you don't absolutely have to use this. I just, I just find that it kind of tidies it up a little bit and it keeps the two legs from spreading apart and possibly having your camera fall out. Check out some of the photographs of me testing out this new mini tripod. I really do dig it and I love you all and I'll see you in the comments.